Welcome to AlgebraClass.com. In this lesson, we will solve two-step equations. We're going to start with the equation negative 5x minus 4 equals 46. Our goal when solving any equation is to get the variable by itself. Therefore, we need to get x by itself on one side of the equation. This will require two different steps. You always want to start by getting rid of the constant or the number that's not associated with the variable. In this case, we need to get rid of the minus 4. We will start by bringing down the left-hand side of the equation, which is negative 5x minus 4. And then I'm going to leave a blank, because I need to do something to get rid of minus 4. I'm going to also bring down the right-hand side of the equation, and I'm going to leave another blank because one of our golden rules for solving equations is whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the other side of the equation. And this keeps the equation balanced. In order to get rid of the minus 4, we need to do the opposite. The opposite of minus 4 is to add 4. And since I need to add 4 to the left-hand side, I must also add 4 to the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, this creates the problem negative 4 plus 4. Well, we know that negative 4 plus 4 is 0. Therefore, it's gone. So on the left-hand side, I'm left with negative 5x. And on the right-hand side, I now have 46 plus 4, which is 50. Now I'm down to one step in order to get the variable by itself. I need to get rid of its coefficient, which is negative 5. Since this means negative 5 times x, I can do the opposite of multiply, which is to divide. And whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other side. So I'm going to divide by 5 on both sides of the equation. Negative 5 divided by negative 5 is 1, and 1 times x is just x. On the right-hand side, 50 divided by negative 5 is negative 10. So I end up with an answer of x equals negative 10. And therefore, in two different steps, I was able to get the variable x by itself and solve the equation. Now, if you want to check your answer to this equation, all you need to do is substitute your answer back into the original equation for x. So in this case, we have negative 5x minus 4 equals 46. I'm going to substitute negative 10 for x, because that's what x is equal to. And I'm going to evaluate this expression to see if it is a true statement. So negative 5 times negative 10 is positive 50. So I have 50 minus 4 equals 46. And then I want to evaluate 50 minus 4 is indeed 46. So because I have a true statement, 46 equals 46, I know that my answer of x equals negative 10 is correct.